Hi everyone, I'm Nina and I'm a client success manager at Smart Ecommerce. So without further ado, let's start with the topic of A-B testing for PMAX campaigns. Life itself is an experiment. You're constantly on a journey to figure out what works best for you. Same with your performance marketing strategy. You have to test which approaches pay off in the end. Especially with such a streamlined format like Performance Max, you want to aim for differentiation compared to your competitors. And as I'm sure and that most of you are already familiar with the key features of Performance Max campaigns, I'd like to dig a little bit deeper into PMAX testing approaches and experiments today. In the experiment page within the Google Ads interface, you are currently able to set up uplift experiments for Performance Max or set up regular shopping campaign versus Performance Max experiments, which means you can only test one campaign against another campaign. And as you can imagine, that Smack PMAX experiments are also a really hot topic right now. And thus, we are running a lot of different experiments together with our clients of various industries, with all different kinds of products and service portfolios. Uh, especially in regards to our Enhanced Performance Max technology, um, because with our so-called Enhanced PMAX approach, our AI-based inventory scoring model, you can evaluate each of your products taking into consideration product performance, competitiveness, as well as really other relevant data. So we predict the performance of each product to identify their real, true potential. But let's get back to experiments. Uh, at Snack, thus we not only compare one campaign against another, but test two campaign setups against each other. Whether it is standard PMAX versus enhanced PMAX, standard shopping versus enhanced PMAX, a hybrid approach, or of course, even your individual approach. The way we are doing this is using an A-B testing approach where we are comparing two versions of something in order to figure out the top performing variation. And with incrementality testing, we therefore can measure the incremental uplift that is caused by a specific treatment. And in order to measure the contribution of that treatment, the subjects are split into two groups, um, experiments and one control group. And only the treatment group, of course, um, sees the changed version. SMEC's best practice for statistic, uh, statistically significant results um, are to use split tests. Our data scientists will run an analysis to find a matching test design, uh, including the perfect geosplit for our clients. To do so, we're using a time-based regression match market approach. And we're also doing, of course, for example, pre or post testing, where we really try to compare two different time points. But this is really just a glimpse of our current uh, performance max experiment landscape, because 115 e-commerce and performance marketing experts are really tirelessly working on such experiments for clients and are also eager to find the right testing approach for you. So please uh, never forget the more experiments the better.